afternoon to do what? Yes. How you doing? Anyway, I'm about to go and do my hair. Oh, it's a kind of dog. It's the Oh. I'm about to go and do my hair. Normally, I would go to the hairdresser and do my hair. Or, I will take it by myself and do my hair myself. But, um... I'm kind of bit in my in a lazy mood so I thought hey why not have my mom just do my hair for me today I feel like having somebody play up in my hair not any and anybody but yeah just somebody put up in my hair and all that and you know get the look comfort and all that and all that I only my mother do my hair for me and after that I have another video to do. I'm wondering if I should do it today or just leave it until tomorrow. But anyway, enough of that, enough of this, enough of that. Before I get any further into this video, make sure you like, make sure you share, make sure you leave your comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, turn on all notification bells so you can get my future contents that I will be posting on this channel. Bye! Where's the remote? Oh. Hey guys, me again. Uh, I'm up here with my mom doing my hair. Two days. What today is? What you want to talk about, ma? Let's talk about uh, what does it mean to have self love. What does it mean to have self love? Okay, we're back. So, mommy, in your words, what does it mean to have self love? In your own words, self love is giving love in yourself. Learn, learn the people. how to love yourself by doing the things that is right mm -hmm. so you can learn to do the things that is right to others. That's why you call it loving yourself. Well, in my vision. So, would you consider like helping others, meaning like to have love for yourself, that means you can help others? Or you have to get that love for yourself first? Yes, exactly. You got to get that love for yourself first before you could share it on to someone else. Okay. Because. I've been watching YouTube last night and it have it had this young lady that was doing a mukbang and she was talking about having self love and you know being able to talk like affirmations and positive words over yourself so that you could have that sense of living. What what do you think about her? That in the same category as what I just tell you. You got to, whatever you want to do in loving affairs, you got to do it to yourself first. You got to learn to love yourself. If you don't love yourself, you cannot love anybody else. You could talk about it, but you can't do it. 
you have to understand you're looking at yourself first. Then you can love somebody else. And that will say the word, that will true, meaningful, loving somebody else. You do that but you understand the loving of yourself. So that means don't be looking for love from the okay, don't be looking for anybody else to fulfill the gap for you. You have to do it yourself. That's right, you have to do it for yourself. Then you could understand. You be able to value and understand what somebody love else needs. Then you able to love yourself and you can value love and understand what love is that's why somebody come to me I love you love you that's why talking it but when you understand it for your own self you demonstrate it to your own self then you could know when they're lying to you from doing that okay so okay I understand I get you like basically what you're trying to say is that you you would okay you would love yourself in a way that when somebody else come to you saying that you love that they love you you will be able to identify the true meaning of love because difference. you love yeah, the different of love because you first love yourself. Thank you very much. That's definitely it right there. Okay. So what would what would you say to those people out there that that's seeking love from others but you know, feeling that kind of uh, self doubt or having that kind of um what you call it insecurity or self esteem you know all around yeah, no they never come on self esteem they, they don't have self esteem low they, self esteem they have low self esteem they can't they can't bring up anything higher or different to what they have they gotta share of what they have. That's why I say loving yourself and be able to take care of yourself. That is the way you able to define, definite, define it different from other people, and you're able to share it differently too. Okay, so what you just said something. Um, you just said they'll be able to differentiate the our difference of the honest, true love. The difference of honest, true love from. That means the way how they love themselves is the way how they're going to love others. Exactly. So, if somebody is feeling bummy or, or, or feeling not worthy or stuff like that, that means that they're going to point out to the other. They have low self esteem. And that's where they need to build up the confidence in themselves. So they could get over that kind of dumb kind of thing. Appreciate yourself by loving yourself and doing everything good for yourself, just what you want somebody else to do for you. And if you don't do that for yourself, you'll never be able to understand the difference of real love. You won't see it. Anybody will come and just push your finger on your eyes and say, Love you, and you don't love you at all because you don't know the difference. Okay. See, with me, it's like I think what you say to you have to love yourself before you can love others yes that's that's all understandable but now it's like you love yourself you to a point where you is in total love with yourself but somebody else has come along and just crush your whole your whole way of looking at things nobody can crush you you have to understand what they're talking about. Listen to what they're saying and what they're doing. Then you, if you really are an honestly to understand love for yourself, you need to dish it out to others. Then you need to see when somebody comes just using the mouth alone. Because you don't understand what true love is. That, that what you have for yourself is what you want to dish out to somebody else. And you want somebody to show the same thing to you. 
And if they don't do it that way, that means you should be able to see the difference right away. And when people tell you shit to their mouth, they say, I love you, I love you, and they're acting completely different. Love is not talking it, you know. Love is acting. So you, you would more look at how a person is moving around you than, than to listen to what they say, or you would put oh, the both of them yeah. together? You, you could put the two of them together, but you got to watch at their movement, the things they do. The things they do, not the words they say, I mean, the things they do. But the words is only words. They could mama guy you are kind of how the sweetest of words they hate you was and then um the daughter walk on. Hmm. That's why I tell you got to learn to love yourself so you can understand to love others. But if you love yourself honestly, you won't be looking for the same things what you know about loving yourself. You know, okay, this is love, and this is what I expect somebody to share with me if they say they love you. Okay. But if they don't, mm -hmm. then there and then you could see the only mama guy in you with a mouth. So inside, deeply, they really don't love. So, so you would say, like, a, a kind of person like that, you would say, like, they just um, free clothes to use you. Like wolf and sheep clothing. Exactly. That's what I said. Fake love to use you. Okay. So the, does that fall under the category of being honest and true? That's probably coincide with with the same thing. Right? Yeah, if a person is honest and true to you, that means they really love you. That's but first, you have to be honest and true with yourself. It's That's what I'm telling you. Okay. So you being honest and true to yourself. And you know, you are uh, like you're being honest. You don't do nothing wrong or whatever. But somebody just comes along and just they just make you up to be where you're not. Like make you up to be somebody different. In a lying way. Yeah, in a lying way, in a like telling a fib. Okay, well, this is what I'm trying to tell you. If you understand real love for your own self. You could pinpoint a lie before it is said. You hear me keep telling people they don't they can't lie to me that I don't know if they lie before they even talk. Why? Because I love myself. Why do you want to tell me that you know, I'm sensitive? I'm going to take that and buy it. And they say, put my pipe and smoke me. You want to tell me you love me. No. If you're in doing that, you got to show something different. You could hide it how you want, but you got to show it differently for the first at least. And then it going to come out anyhow because it's not real love, it is going to be shown. So you wouldn't have no problem with me for any of that, any retreat. Okay. The key thing is honesty. Honesty. I always do say that, like, honesty is the best policy. Thank you. Anything you do. I've been watching like a lot of YouTubers and stuff like that on YouTube. A lot of them just, I can't speak about none of them personally because I don't know them personally. But to me, it's like few of them, they, they seem not to be honest to me. That means they have never been loved. You find people loyal to you, nothing comes after that. Nothing. No, I mean like just when me watching them, you know, like just when me looking at them, you know, that's that's why I made a statement because I don't know them personally. Yeah, but I'm saying um, when I say to you and me to anybody, if you love a person, you would not lie to them. That's a first thing away. That's why I tell you I love yourself first. Be honest and true to yourself, so you can know when someone else is not honest to you. If they if they honestly you, they would not lie to you. If they love you, they would not lie to you. If honestly love you, they would not lie to you. Sure. So then, that's the, that's the whole key. That's why I say you have to love yourself before you could love anybody else. Being honest and true to yourself, 
and then you were able to be honest and true to anybody else so you could understand the difference of real love and, and just a fake. You know, you always was hearing me tell you, I mean, this really has much to do with it, but you always was hearing me tell you you want to be independent of yourself. Uh -huh. What do you think I mean? So that nobody will mess, be able to mess with you. When you Don't have me a six for nine. And any strings, it, in other words, you don't have to un, honor, honor anybody but on. Uh, or give you say, say kiss anybody but on. You want something you could handle yourself and get it where you, get where you want you and why beg nobody. That's why you need for that part. Okay. Be independent of yourself. That's one you got to learn so that people don't walk over your head. You see they're doing something wrong with you, don't I? Who the hell is you? Bye! So, how was it going up back in your days? Like, the love thing, like being honest or whatever. Back in your days. You know what I mean? In every day, it's time my days or your days, it comes the same honesty. But as I said, you have to learn to be able to pinpoint it. For you caring and love it for yourself. So you can always know when a liar come along when someone you don't really care. And it does happen so sometimes that some of them is so keen and so they can really cover things so that they will be able to cover it up for God knows how long that they gonna show you that they they will try to show you the moon they call to blue cheese. When you know the moon is yellow, but it's going to eat me, go to blue cheese. And then, another thing, that's what this is a part where I would say to be independent of yourself. They will come, give you everything what you even don't need. They will come and give you. But after they get holy and solely in and everything going fine with you, anything they got you good, they start walking away. And if you can't back up yourself at that time, you're in dead trouble. Because the way they treat you as if everything you want, you don't got to worry about anything. But that's the beginning. That don't mean you have to worry. You've got to worry then when you see somebody doing that kind of thing to you. You've got to worry. Because when they turn their back on you, they're going to leave you like a beheaded fowl. Because you wouldn't know whether you're going one way or the other because you won't have nothing to turn back to. Mm -hmm. Because you only have no ground set for yourself. You understand what I'm trying to say? Okay. So, case, hey, never put a personal like what you really don't know ahead of yourself. Anything you need for yourself, you get it. Even if you guys share what it is with whatever, never give them everything you have. Give them if you want some, but you make sure you keep some for yourself. So when the when the test come to the test, okay, I help you, but when my job come, I could help myself too. I ain't gonna depend on you or nobody else. You understand what I mean? So basically, you're saying have enough of something to share with others, but still at the same time have enough to keep for yourself no matter how less, less it is share it don't give it all share because you have to think on yourself if you need some for yourself you want to buy to, 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 to get it from you have to able to have something for yourself that's why you loving yourself that's a part of loving yourself all those kind of things so you're getting dependent on yourself. That's, that's part of loving yourself. And the next thing, I mean, this really not have much to do with it, but I uh, bring this part up because it's, it's still in the same part of sharing, loving yourself, and things like that, because how you got to learn. If you know somebody and you see them continuously coming, asking you for everything, or they want you to give them everything they want, they never ask you if you have 
Let me go watch that one. Watch that one. All the one going is you, is you. So what would what would this that I mean? I just said they're just using you for what they could get out to you. Okay. You hear it have the thing where you say you always hear people say, Okay, I got this reference. I have a friend and um they always want everything from me. And if I want something from them, they never have. If I had, I would, you heard it, boy, I would give you. If I had, I would give you. That's the kind of thing I'm talking about. So you would, you would be aware of, if I had, I would give you people. Oh, oh that's the key thing you got to be aware of. Kind of individual. If I had, if I had it, I would give you. Mm -hmm. That one, mm -hmm. That's what I'm going to use you to the day of days. <laughs> I tell you, me acting, I tell you. When they want something, they come sweet and nice and dandy. But waiting when you want something. If I had it, I'd give you. If I had it. You don't ask me if I have it or tell me you want. Or I hear you say want and I try to help you. But when I want, you know me. You will help me just if you had it. That's not the true friend. Hmm. Yeah, you know, I, I, I tell you, you know, I tell you from experience, God, I decide nobody, nobody will use me that way. I don't care who you is. I will give you what I could afford. I'm going to give you everything. Give you some, keep some for yourself. Okay. So you have to do yes. Or it's probably you'll be dependent on yourself if you give her everything. That's true. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so guys, comment down below and let me know what you think about this topic. What's your opinion on this topic? And let's get to talking, discussing. Talk a little. I am hungry. That, that is true life, true way of life, facts, the facts of life, if you don't know them things, you will be treated like a, a guinea pig for people, so call friends, no way that I'm going to friend. I like these cubes, these um, colorful cubes. Yeah, what do them do you? Yeah, I got it done one time and I'm here trying to get it through again. And I get on the rest. Yeah, I'm hungry too. Oh, you got it. Because look where it is back here. You got I'm, it at the rest here too. I'm, I'm trying. Um, and some of them up there anyway, some of you don't know. You got it all mixed up. You got to take your time and study the thing. I know. If you go spinning, spinning so you don't get it do. You have to study it. Okay, so there's the green here. And I'm more yeah, yeah, that's you have them are almost even right now. You got okay. What kind of the under the, the whites? You got four whites over there. So yes, guys. Um, put a piece of paper towel there for me, please. Put a piece of paper under it, and it just let me see. Say how many bad ones? I got to boil them too. Come on, give me that. It's a whole piece. Yeah. I am hungry too. Oh, that's more so on that note, guys. If you all like this topic that me and my mom was talking about, comment down below and like give me your opinion, give me your feedback on what you think. How would you handle a situation like that if you was faced with it? Yeah, I will comment back. I will reply to your comments and just let me know what you think. So once again, like this video, share this video. Subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for further videos on my channel.